Hi guys, good afternoon. Kamusta po kayo? In today's video, I will be featuring you know, part of uh, the video tutorial, the live uh, session that I did for uh, Autodesk Community Philippines. We'll be doing a uh, high-rise tower, a conceptual high-rise tower. So this is very interesting and will be very helpful for young architects and students you can use for your projects. Hope you like this video and uh, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. Please like the videos and don't hesitate to leave your comments. I'll be very happy to respond to your comments and hope to see you in more videos to come. Magandang araw po. Hope you like this video. Okay. Dito tayo ngayon sa screen natin. So let's pretend we are we are going to be doing a conceptual project. And let's say we want to create a multi-story building. Uh, let's say a twisting tower. Twisting tower with about uh, 30 stories. 30 story twisting tower. So to start a project like that, you need to, of course, uh, go to your elevations and prepare your levels. As again, we don't need this to start with. But now we need to create how many levels? Let's say 30 levels. Let's say isahin ba natin? Huwag na, di ba? Ito na tayo sa medyo... Let's use uh, some tricks on how to create more levels. Let's select one of the levels, level 2, and let us use array. And those who are familiar in with AutoCAD, alam nyo na gamitin ito. No? So let's click array. What we will be doing is uh, we need 30. Get there. And sabi natin move to second. That means if we click here, click there, you will be automatically creating 30 levels. Before the time, kahit yung numbering natin, start sa dun sa 7. You know, you don't worry much on the numbering. This can be adjusted later on. And the good thing here is once you've created that, you can add more. We have the 30 floors if you want to make it like 60. High rise tower. Super high rise na to. Uh, balik natin sa lahat. Wala tayo sa trip. That, that, that's how you do it. Okay? Use your array tool in creating levels. Second step. Let's go back to level 1. Uh, maybe we want to do some basement. But uh, let's just assume we, we will not be uh, creating our, uh, our base. Ito lang muna tayo sa, from ground up. As we will be doing mass, let's go to our uh, massing insight. And let's uh, get some in place mass. Close. Cancel. to insert let's insert a family from our mass family under the family uh, library we have what we call mass and then let's select this uh, uh, the blended rectangle this is something that you can used to have like a twisted building. You can also use sphere, use torus, and other shapes available. You can play with that. Just remember the steps that I'll be teaching you. I'll be sharing with you. So, let's go to the rectangle blended. Click open. So if you see, we have the mass uh, um, category of the family, we have the rectangle of right there. Drag and drop lang natin. We have it right there. 
if you look at the uh, 3D view, uh, it is sitting right there. Pero mababa siya. Of course, you can you can uh, adjust the height of it. And how do we do that? We go to our uh, elevation. We have a very open area. Select mo lang yan, and then you can pull it up. See? We have those options. Pull it up. You can pull it up manually. You pull it up manually. And you can also adjust the uh, the walls based on this. You can adjust it here. Adjust the size. Let's keep it as so I don't write that. And uh, we have something like that. Yeah. So it's a bit of a twisting tower. Right? So what you've just created is uh, a mass family. Wala ka pang tatawang part. Here but what you do now is you go to your massing inside and you create the uh, floor, floor by face. Yeah, floor by face. Getting this trick. Don't worry, we'll remember it. Anyone here knows how to do this? a mass floor into a floor of a building model so create floor floor by face ah there mass floor style okay select muna natin yung uh, mass okay and then let's click mass floors and then we select all of these okay and select we start time so under massing inside when you click the the mass that you created automatically this will uh, come up and you click mass floors then select all the floors that you intend the Floors to be check it. Okay. 
For example, you want to have uh, like a double floor on the lower level, let me, let me, let me, let me check that in level 2 and level 7. So you have like a high floor on this part and then click OK. So at this time, you've created your uh, floors. No? So these are mass floors, hindi pa yan actual floors. Um, the next thing is, let's create the, uh, let's create the actual floors, right? So now go to floor by face, and then let's select the type, say let's select generic 150 and then let's select all the floors available. Click create floor afterwards. So you've just created the floor. So if you put this now to shade it, you already have those nice looking floors. You have you have your elevation, south elevation, west elevation, south elevation. You want to show system okay select that 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 okay we have a curtain System. Select the faces. Four faces and the create system. So you know, you created your curtain system. Curtain system. So you can you can do this step uh, using another another shape. Let's just do it quickly. But it is a uh, level one. It's a sort of review. Let's create another shape. Move along that then it Elevation targets. Let's insert again. Let's uh, go to our uh, family. Select kind of 
the dome, paper, the pyramid, sometimes spear, torus, some I'm thinking of the corner. Bone or maybe a cylinder. Another bone. Arch. Let's just look for a cylinder. And click open. Now let's get a cylinder. Place the cylinder right there. Okay. As I told you earlier, you can adjust that according to your liking. So let's say it's the moment, but as to the arena, you can add a few more uh, levels so that you know that your level have 30, put on 42. I have 42 levels, it's great for 42 stories high cylindrical tower. The same step that we did earlier. This is some sort of a review of what we did earlier. Um, as you can see here, pala, um, hindi natin nagawang uh, yung ibang faces. No? So what we can do, let's just do that again. Select this. The long face selected in this great system. And, you know, and of course, you already know how to create the columns and, and uh, stairs and everything. So you can apply those skills that you've learned in adding columns to this, and even adding walls in the interior and uh, developing the site. Okay, let's go to the cylindrical tower. Again, let's review what we learned earlier. Click that in the mass. And then let's go to the mass floors. And let's select all of them. Click OK. We've already created the mass floors. And then go to the floor, floor by face, select the type of floor. Say so you want to have a 160 mm concrete with, with metal that can be bounced around the columns. I can select this and create the Closely, that's it. Remove that, that'll be just a section. Section. Storefront, kasi hindi naman siya irregular. Uh, kanina, we were not able to use the storefront because uh, it will automatically create errors because we have a sort of a irregular shaped uh, uh, mass. But I think for uh, a regularly shaped uh, cylinder, we can use the type of uh, storefront. Okay. Let's go now to Create the wall. Create the wall. Storefront. Select that. 
So you can see your tower right here in the tower. You can see the mullions. That's that's why we use uh, so I used the uh, storefront to show you that now when you select this type of wall, uh, it will automatically have those mullions. And these mullions are adjustable. You select the, the wall itself. Facing the vertical plate of 1524, which if you want to make it, it uh, let's say two meters, so you have two, two for every floor and spacing for the vertical, you want to make it. You can even change the type of volumes to be used, you have to change it. If it's a click apply to any of the Is everybody uh, here? Someone here? I think this someone from Qatar. Hi, in Tarawan. Sir Alice, kumaka punta ka sa office ng Jefferson. Ako yung gusto na wala kay Lizette. Salamat. Hi, in Tarawan. Are you from Philippines? Are you related to Lizette? Uh, we even have. Yonai Jam. Hi, Yonai Jam. Good to have you here. I see also Baika Baika. Good to have you here. And I'll just click OK. So you can see that the emollient, the spacing of the emollient are already adjusted. So before we all get excited, um, I know you already want to see a 3D rendering of how this would look like. Let's just go back to the first uh, element that we did. So when you created a curtain panel, um, you basically have the cutouts on the curtain wall. You can add modules into them. So what you do here in your the architecture tab, you can add these modules. Let's say if you want to add a vertical module. Which is a 50 by 100 pm. You can very well do it. See, if you want to be modules and see the corners of the building, then that's okay. Hope everyone is uh, enjoying this uh, uh, part two of our uh, Revit tutorials. Um, 
based on experience, I must tell that you're enjoying this because uh, first time I learned Revit, try to find out how to create sample projects uh, using Revit. Because basically, when you do Revit the basics, you start with what I did on the, on the part one, uh, which is the basics of creating walls and creating a big model. But uh, creating an, an architectural conceptual model using Revit is not easily, it's not automatically taught. Um, um, actually, this is part of uh, this intermediate to advanced level uh, Revit when, when yeah, you uh, enroll in courses. But uh, I would like to share this with you as I know this is very helpful for our architects. You are a young architect or, or students or already practicing as architects. This is very helpful for your practice and for your journey. So let's uh, just to uh, finalize the project. You can add more. Uh, you can add the dome here. You can add, uh, let's say, a pyramid and this room. It's up to you. It really depends on. Let's uh, just add a little bit on the side here. Let's go to the massing uh, side. Let's add a little bit of side. Go to the massing inside and let's create the topo surface. Um, topo surface can have uh, various materials and can have various uh, heights. You know? Uh, by default, it's set at zero. Let's say, uh, let's create some height points right there. Let's make it thousand. So let's make it three thousand. Create some sort of drop. To have some sort of drama side something and you, you can change the material by default this comes like an earth here you can change the material right here if you want that three buttons with an adage of grass material, you know, we search for grass. Grass, put it up, select it, and the appearance would look like that. If you want to adjust the glossiness, you can very well do it. Apply. Realistic. We have something, like that. and then if you, of course, you'd like to add your trees and everything, you can need to mark a few more modules. Over to the nine. Then let's just add some icing on the grid. 
you know, that, you know, who knows you may have the planting here, you don't have so many good things there. Uh, well, the budget inside, inside the units, you don't have the, the plants, it's the family. Go back to your library, go to planting. Let's go to tropical plant, tropical trees. Go back to the site. Feel free to pull on your plants. Your favorite plant is the Cuban Royal Palm. It's always helpful. Those big ones up here. Big trees. Sweet. And this is very helpful when you're doing your thesis, doing your project, just to create a nice ambiance. And uh, we can now try to put on our camera. I'll let you need to find out later. That would help you to create a stunning view using a better angle of the camera. Quite near the business center. Yeah. Shall we render it? Of course, uh, let me introduce to you um, another feature of Web which is um, which is rendering cloud you know it is far better faster than your computer for example now i'm using uh, an excellent workstation i'm using a, a computer which is 12 core computer with 32 gb ram and, and, and uh, i said um I can render faster online than in my computer. And even the, the online rendering would have better results. Let's try to render online, render in cloud. But of course, this would work only if you use the authorized and licensed software. So. Or if you are uh, using the student software, you have to be logged into Autodesk to be able to use this feature. Since we are using a licensed software, you don't have a problem with that. Let's render it in cloud. And you will see this, uh, this uh, greeting. I don't need to show that next time. Video. And it has very simple. So if you want to have. Uh, and this will be new one. Output be a still image only. Uh, just bear in mind you can do a panoramic view, even a stereo panorama, find that out for yourself. And render quality, you just need to find out which size. I'm not have many credits. That's uh, 2.25 pixel.
is to credit, it's okay, and click render. Let's see how fast it will render. I'm not sure if I've set up the, the background, but let's see what happens. Go back to the comments. I hope you're still enjoying this. You will see the rendering very soon. That's uh, it's right there. It's rendering. There's a render progress. Let's take a pick the render progress. So it could render that quick, you know, using the uh, online render. So as you can see, we didn't change much of, much of the materials yet. We didn't change the color of the glass of the uh, of the curtain wall, so um, doesn't show much features yet. But you get a chance, time to change it. You can do that and I've shown you already the process and I hope you were able to learn from this. It's up to you now to continue learning, expand your knowledge. Um, I mean, of course, it's available online and they're not very expensive. You can, you can uh, enroll in LinkedIn, one of our sponsors. Um, I've, I've enrolled several courses there. So I mean, uh, it's really a good way to learn and to expand your knowledge and of course practice makes perfect.